Yo, what's up everyone, Legend Begins here with a tutorial video, and I'm going to teach you all how to play ROM hacks, your very own ROM hacks, on your very own computer. So, uh, yeah. So, let's just first go to Google, the search engine, of course, nothing else, and type in emulator zone. It, it said emulator zone virus, that's n nothing actual. There's no virus with this site, it's completely safe. I even have it uh, with Bitdefender all backed up and everything. So you see it has emulators for basically every single system up here. Uh, for ROM hacks, at least for the uh, Super Mario World ROM hacks, you're going to want to go to the Ninten Super Nintendo emulator right here. Go down. I would recommend ZSNES. Uh, SNES 9X is the other most popular one. But uh, ZSNES is what I use, and I find it's the very best emulator for all of your... Uh, for anything you want, basically. So uh, you click on that. Then uh, you see it has a uh, Legend of Zelda, and uh, this is mainly for uh, Windows at least. I use uh, Windows 8 at the moment, but it also works for XP. And so you would click that. Sorry about that. Uh, click that. Anyway, yeah. So it'll download. There we go. And I have it all downloaded right here. And it was really quick because it's not that big of a document, especially since it's zipped and compressed. So now that you have the uh, emulator, I could just uh, delete that file since I already have uh, my own copy. But it's basically, it's the same thing. So after that, we'll go back to Google. Now to get the ROM, I have to advise you, do not, wink wink, do not do this. And do not, as I'm advised by my attorneys, Google... Super Mario World ROM, and whatever you do, don't quote unquote go to coolrom.com, which uh, may or may not have viruses in the site somewhere. But I know at least if you just hit the download button, it won't have one. But don't go there. Wink, wink. As I'm legally uh, obliged, if I said that right. Uh, to tell you that so then you hit the download now you don't hit the download now button on coolrom.com I'm telling you you're not supposed to do this technically downloading a ROM isn't legal unless you own the game however I believe recently there was another bill passed that made it legal I don't know all the specifics specifics okay so you see it gave me a downloader so, be careful on what you actually download. So there's no link below, so I would um, I'd refresh the page if I were you. So I'll be downloaded through the Cool ROM downloader. Anyway, let's not get the Cool ROM downloader. And I don't know why it's taking a long time to refresh, let me try this again. I've never had a cool problem with Cool ROM before, not that I've ever used it, wink wink. But uh let's see. Alternative download link would probably help. There we go, your download is starting coolrom.com. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Download your file. There we go nss.smw.zip however this may not be the best place to get ROMs anymore but uh, there are all kinds of down, uh, sites but don't go to any of these places N wink wink do not download a ROM of Super Mario World and uh, but all these kinds of sites are safe usually sometimes just be careful which ones you go to because you may get one with the virus but uh, there are certain sites that are just completely safe you gotta be um, just careful, CoolRom has never given me a problem before, but I've also never had what it's uh, doing right now. But uh, it's okay, and um, I have a ROM of it on my desktop, which I'll show you later. So after that, to get the actual hack, go to, let's just do it in caps because it's amazing, smwcentral.net, because you know, it's worth it. You go to smwcentral.net, primary Super Mario World hacking source. This place I do advise you to go to, and my attorneys tell me, and lawyers tell me that it is okay 
for me to advise you to go to the site. You get all sorts of stuff on the menu, uh, tools, you may need that, you may not. Uh, I would recommend going to the SNW or Legacy hack. There's just not that much of a difference, but there's a small difference. And they also have Super Mario 64 and Yoshi's Island hacks. So uh, let's say we want to get, let's see, Super Mario World the Blue Flamingo, or what the heck, too. Um, see the screenshots. Okay, let's get Super Mario World the Blue Flamingo. So you would just click that. And the download is starting. Okay, now the file is loaded. You got blueflamingo.zip. Now, we don't have to get a Lunar IPS or anything, but we could. So if you want to get Lunar IPS, which I don't really recommend, but you could, Lunar IPS. Let's see, download. I wonder if it's on um, that. I wonder if it's on SMW Central. Lunar IPS, there we go. So, we have people like here. Oh, okay, so what they've done. They've uh, st struck out the download for Lunar IPS on SMW Central. So I would um, personally get, let's see, Lunar IPS download. If you want Lunar IPS, you don't need it, though. ROMhacking.net, that's another great site for ROM hacks. But um, you can get Lunar IPS there. Now, now that we have all the necessary requirements, we can go into our files. So let's go to Downloads. Legend begins, of course, of course. And um, you see we got some zipped files, which is, I would either, um, Windows 8 already comes with an, its own built-in unzipper. However, if you don't have Windows 8, or if you don't want to use this, I would recommend WinRAR. It's a program you can get for free, and uh, download it by just going here. WinRAR, or just WinRAR download, and WinRAR.com, right here. Go right here, I believe, at WinRAR.com, and download WinRAR, and you'll have your own little unzipper, which really helps, and it's amazing. But since I don't need WinRAR, I would just go grab the IPS file. I have a, my own little folder for ROMs and similar. Drop it in there. Now, when you don't, well, okay, don't get that copy of Super Mario World, but let's just say you happen to have one floating around on your computer that you didn't download, like, you know, the random configuration of code, who knows, maybe you coded it yourself, wink, wink, but uh, this is what you want to do. First of all, I have Lunar IPS, which is the uh, second method that, uh, that I will be showing you. So, let's see, we just got bf.ips, so let's take this copy of Super Mario World that we somehow got on our computer. We don't know how, but we got it. Let's see. Let's copy it. Paste it. There we go. Super Mario World copy. Change the name to BF. The exact same file as the IPS file. Where is it? Here it is. BF.IPS and make it BF.SMC. Now, you're going to want your own little thing for emulators. And I have a lot of emulators just saying. Actually, I have like four. No, five. Five. So uh, you're going to want to take out ZSNES, NEW. Now, I'll maximize this for you guys. Actually, that might not be the best idea. Let's go for it. It doesn't really matter. So let's do load game. You're going to want to scroll through your directory. Let's just uh, go back, go back, go back. So you're going to want to go probably to users. I'm not certain exactly where it starts, but uh, I'm going to start here. And then I'm going to want to scroll through the directory to uh, desktop. And it really depends on where you keep the file, but you're going to want to find your file. I'm going to go to my folder with ROMs, ROMs plus similar. And I have all of these hacks right here. Now, if you remember, we didn't patch the Super Mario World fire file, but we did rename it to uh, match the IPS file. And when we, because we renamed it, we can just go into it in here, and it'll automatically patch it for us. Sega! And there you go! We have uh, bf.smc, and it's loaded perfectly. The only difference is if you rename the Super Mario World uh, file of bf.smc, if you rename it to anything else.smc, it will revert back to its normal original Super Mario World copy. Or uh, Super Mario World, you know, um, file. 
So this could be a good or a bad thing, depending on how you want to use it. However, if you want a permanent way of keeping your files in the IPS SMC format, all you have to do is go into your C ROMs with similar file or just ROMs for you. Load up. We'll get to this in the next tutorial. But uh, Lunar Magic it may be it may not be the next, but it will be another tutorial. You're gonna want to choose Apply IPS Patch. So maybe it was Create IPS Patch. No, I believe it's Apply BF.IPS. Then you want to select the file to patch. You first choose the IPS, uh, IPS, sorry, and then the SMC. So I'll do BF.SMC. The file was successfully patched. Now let me see if this will work without renaming it. BF.SMC. Rename. Let us go. Okay, go is capitalized. I'm cool with that. Now let's see if it'll work in ZSNES. Load. Let's see where is it? Let us go. SMC. And as you can see, even with the renamed file, it applied the IPS patch, which means that the, the uh, file's data was permanently changed, which allows us to play uh, Blue Flamingo. SMC. So, without the um, without patching it with the Lunar IPS, your emulator will do it for you, but it's only a temporary patch. However, it will keep all your saves and save states and such. Uh, I could give you a tutorial through this if you really wanted to. It's not that difficult. I have it set to a joypad because I have my little control that I use. So that's basically the gist of it. And that's all you need to know. If you rename the file by just using the temporary emulator patch, all it will do is take that file if it has the same name. However, if it doesn't have the same name, when you try to boot it again, it'll revert back to its original Super Mario World data. And thank you. Make sure you give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And if it uh, actually helped you, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section if you have any questions. And subscribe to my channel if you want more tutorials, gameplays, and creepypastas. And make sure you share this video on Google Plus for anyone else who might have issues with this or would just want to play Super Mario World hacks. Now the same should apply to other kinds of hacks, but I may do a tutorial if you want to know how to play some other game. It's been hacked, there aren't that many, but there are some, such as Pokemon, and I believe Mega Man. So, that's about it, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.